Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. So by looking at our ready application, let's see what we need here. We are going to have different rows for our different categories and then we have items in each row. So what we need as a model to create is a row. This is a row of our items. And then in each row, we are going to put a drink. So we are going to need uh, to create a drink item, which will be this here. So we have an image, we have a name and uh, some short description. So this will be our drink item. And then we are going to create a row which will be full of drink items in it so we can scroll through it. So let's get started. I'm going to start from our uh, row. So let's create a new file, command N. This time we're going to create Swift UI view. Click next and this is going to be a called drink row. Okay and let's hide the left panel and actually bring our canvas here click resume and this will show us our current design of our view which is simply going to be again hello world so for our let's just zoom out all right so for our drink here uh drink row what we are going to need is some kind of stack that we are going to put our items in it. So in our case, it's going to be a vertical stack. So we have, we start from top, imagine vertically, we have our image, um, then we have our text and actually no, the, the row starts from top is the title of the row, sorry. And then we have the scroll view, which contains the drink item. So our uh, row is going to have a title on top and just a scroll view here. But uh, since we need a vertical stack to put both views inside, because here in our body where we can return only one view and I cannot just say, for example, uh, text and which is going to be, let's say, code and then if I say here like a scroll view and put something in my scroll view this is not going to work because now I have two different views here a text is a view and the scroll view is a view so I can return only one view so you have to have some bigger box that you can put everything in it and in our case it's going to be our vertical stack. So I put the text on top and then scroll view. So in order to do that, I'm going to say V stack. And we are going to open the parentheses. I'm going to put alignment. And it's going to be dot leading because we want to align it on our leading side. Everything else is not needed so I'm going to just select and delete it and then we just open our curly braces let me just cut this out and we're going to put it here so now we don't have issue with this because basically we have one big V stack which we are returning and then we have this scroll view and text and it's complaining because my scroll view is not completed yet but uh, if I remove it it's going to be pretty happy about it and we can just resume and now you will see instead of hello world there is just cold here so um, in order to uh, for our drink role to work we need to provide it with some kind of information first we need to give it a category name which is the drink category so we can use it as a title and then our row needs an array of drinks so that it can display to our user. So this is the scroll view and it needs some kind of drinks in it. 
So let's put a var category name and this is going to be a string and var drinks which is going to be array of drink items because this is what we are going to present. So our drink row is going to have these two things and then it will be able to show us the row. Now we have complain here at the end. By the way, this part here is required only for us to see the canvas on the right side. On the runtime, this is totally ignored on the application. But for us uh, to see the runtime properly now, because here it initializes a drink row. And now what we have done is we have created two variables, which uh, we have to have on a runtime. And here it asks us to give a value to these variables. So we have to have the category name and then we have to have a drink array so that on the canvas right side it knows some something it has something actually to show to our user so here i'm going to just provide a dummy information say hot drinks let's put the capitals here and uh, drinks here what we can do here uh, since we have this handy uh, array of drink data we are going to give this to our canvas so it's happy and is not going to complain but in uh, in reality what we are going to do is to provide our drinks from specific category under our menu okay um, what we need to do here we have our v stack here we have a text and now we don't just put called there instead we say self dot category name so whatever category we pass we are going to use the category name there um, the second thing is we are going to use a scroll view now so i create a scroll view we need to tell our scroll view that it's going to be a horizontal scroll view and not a vertical one and then we are going to tell if we want to see the indicators or not the indicators is when you are scrolling you see on the right side this bar here this is the scroll indicator but when I scroll vertically uh, horizontally you see there are no indicators and I'm going to say show indicators false this is enough for our scroll view to know that it's going to be a horizontal and that it shouldn't show the indicators all right so let's jump to the ready uh, uh, code here the application and see what we have in our row in the row we are going to have a horizontal stack and then we are going to go through the drinks and put them here so the drink object so let's uh, put a h stack here and then I'm going to say for each. And then we are going to go through self drinks. These are the drinks here. So we say self dot drinks. So for each drink, and here I'm going to say uh, drink in, which is basically we give a name to our variable of every drink here. So for each drink in our drinks array, we are we want to put this drink into our row here. So for this to work, we are going to create a drink item. In our drink item is going to be this. Imagine it's like a card here. So we can put the drink items for each item there. So in our next lecture, we are going to create a drink item that we can put in our row.